y'all, Shay here. Welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. Uh, Whip is work in progress, and we're just gonna chat it up and catch up and uh, find out what's going on with everybody. Um, go ahead and you know pull out whatever you wanna work on. I normally go for about an hour, so let's see how much I've got to say and what we need to catch up on. Um, what else? Okay, so let me show you what I'm working on. I've got y'all zoomed out so you can see uh, the painting. This is by Die Moon Shop and it's by Holly Morningstar, and it's called Bakushan, and it is a mermaid. If you can see, her face is right here. Let me move this over. There's a fish right here, and she's kind of looking back, right? This is her shoulder, so you've got some you know, bubbles, and this is her tail kind of coming up. It's really, really pretty. I love it. Um, loving all the orange, coral, reds. Very, very pretty. Um, it is a smaller one, it is round. So I've been doing a lot of squares and a lot of larger ones. So I wanted to do round and smaller. So this is a 53 by 40 in centimeters. And like I said, it's round and there's no ABs, which I kind of like it that way. They gave me some uh, black ABs, some 310s, and I don't really care for 310 ABs. I just don't like the way that they look. Here they are. So um, I am using Elizabeth Ward, okay? And there are only 38 colors, so it's going pretty quick. Um, I just started on this, mm, I don't even know y'all, I need to look at my log book, but yeah, it's only been like five days maybe. So yeah, I've got my Elizabeth Ward, and I'm gonna be working on this square right here. I just finished the bottom row so far. I am using a Bella Art Dana Cole. This is one of their older trays. They have a new um, look and feel to it now, This and I don't think you can get these anymore. So this is one of my rose gold ones. I thought it matched really well with the painting. And then I do have a uh, rose gold pen from Diamond Pen Pal. They're on Etsy, and I'll have everything linked down below. And it's one of the uh, roll stop, so it's got a flat edge, so you can just set it down and it doesn't go anywhere. So I love their pens. Um, I am using a seven placer, a multi-placer, and it does have Randa's Crafty Corner um, Putty, and it's watermelon scented. And then in my single placer, I do have micro glue dots. What else, y'all? Um, got the gold tweezers, because I thought it matchy matchied. This is a uh, washi tape from Simply Gilded, and it's one of their, um, what's it called? Stardust, I think it's called, but it's got like the little glitter in it. I thought it was really pretty. And then of course, I've got my pen cutter, so I can cut off, you know, when I finish each square and kind of cut down and peel it back. And I got this on Amazon, so. I think that's everything I'm using. Oh, and can't forget my little um, trash cover minder. I have it over on my lamp. Um, this is from Butterfly Resin Gems. She does have an Etsy shop. So please go check out Alyssa, she's awesome. Um, the last time I checked her shop was on vacation. She was having some surgery. So, uh, but definitely heart her shop and then you'll be notified when she comes back from vacation if it's still on, if it's still on. So, but yes, I love this, they're resin. She has resin trays, resin cover minders. It does have a magnet at the bottom, but you know, I've got my trash in there. So yes, I think that's everything. Uh, go ahead and grab something to drink. I've got my cute little Starbucks mug that I just got recently, a little tumbler, it's so cute. All right, let's see. So I normally um, film these in the morning, but school's out and it is summertime. So it is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all. And it is 621 here, PM. I normally, like I said, do these in the morning after I drop the kids off at school. But now that the kids are off, there's like, the routine is, there's no routine. We are like all over the place. I like it, but at the same time, I kind of thrive on structure and routine. So it's a little, it's been a little hard. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so let me zoom in. And if I have to pause or anything, y'all know why, because you know, I did make dinner. We made um, homemade pizzas. I cooked up some ground beef that I had thawed out and uh, got some little crusts and have all the sauces and the pineapple and the olives and all the things out, the sauce. So whenever anyone's hungry, they can just make their own pizza. So hopefully we won't get interrupted. All right, are y'all zoomed in enough? Like I said, I'm gonna work on this square right here. I'm gonna scooch it over a little bit. Oh, and also I'm using a, um, I talk about this a lot. It's my black uh, desk cover and it's from Ikea and it's magnetic. So I don't have any cover minders um, on this painting because what I normally do is, I only normally have my drills really close and so they just hold back my plastic. I just set my drills on top of it because they kind of just move along with me. So I don't have a cover minder, but if I did, it just sticks right to this, you know, I don't need to put the magnet underneath. So it's very helpful. All right, y'all, let's, let me see what color I've got. This is P, okay. 
Um, I diamond painted a little bit earlier, but it's nice to get back to it. But yeah, there's a nice mix of color blocking and confetti in this painting, so I am really enjoying it. It's been a little bit since I've done a diamond shop, and I just went through my stash, and you know, I'm not doing an event this month. I know there's several events out there, so I hope y'all are having fun and participating in some of the community events. They're just a blast. In July, um, I'm gonna be hosting an event with Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and it's the uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith Along, the JBG Along. So if you have any Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, it will be in the month of July. Um, her and I are still, you know, working out all the details. So uh, there will be a, um, you know, an announcement video as it gets a little bit closer. So y'all will have all the details, but this will be our second one. We did it last year, last July, and it was, a, it was a great success and we had a really good time doing it. I love working with Lindsay. I've done a couple of events with her so far and she's always great to work with. She's, she's awesome. So, um, yeah, all right, so that's kind of some diamond painting stuff. I'm trying to think what else diamond painting related. Um, I am giving away um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith paintings from Craftably for the month of June. So if you wanna hop on to one of my lives I had, for the month of June, I do have, let's see, I've given away three so far. And just be sure and watch my videos because I might stick them, sneak them into a random video. But I'm definitely giving away on the lives. So I do go live uh, every Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I'd love to have you guys. It's always fun. And if you're a newcomer and you've never been to a live, it doesn't matter. It's not exclusive to certain people. Certain It, it doesn't matter. Join us. Say hi. Um, I always hope I make everybody feel included. I never want to make anybody feel you know, excluded, of course. So yeah, hop on, say hi. And even if you don't want to say hi, no worries. You, I work and lurk a lot during, during a lot of lives. I just kind of have it on in the background and I'm just listening as I'm diamond painting. Um, so yeah, I, please join me because if you need a JBG and you're interested in her, then uh, yeah, I'll be giving away another one this Sunday. So definitely join us. It's always a good time. There's a good group of people on there and I try to keep it fun. Um, speaking of my lives, it's funny. Um, I got a comment from one of my subscribers uh, like a week or two ago, and it, she was very sweet about it, but she just said, you know, love your channel, um, but I just can't do your lives because they remind me of Romper Room. And I was like, what the heck is Romper Room? So I Googled Romper Room because I wanted to see what I was being compared to. And wow. So if y'all are familiar with Romper Room, I don't know if that was a compliment or, but you know what y'all, you can't make everybody happy and I'm not gonna try. You, know, you just can't, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be myself and I'm not, you know, everybody's cup of tea. You know, I do the little dance in sometimes, I've roller skated, I've, you know, I have guests. I just really try to keep it fun. You know, I figured, you know, it's Sunday, we're just taking, you know, some time to hang out together and I wanna have fun. So um, yeah, so I thought that was really funny, but I had to Google it because I didn't know what it was and I watched um, a YouTube video on it. It was pretty entertaining. I don't know if it's from the 70s, I think. I'm not sure. I was born in 74, so I don't really remember Romper Room. If y'all do, let me know down in the comments. That'll be the first question of the video. Yeah, I don't really remember Romper Room. And let me know if you think it's like Romper Room. I don't know, but she was sweet about it. Uh, let's see, what else, y'all? Okay, so anything diamond painting related? Anything else? I might think of something else. Um, I normally take pretty good notes. But again, I'm totally off my routine, my schedule. The kids are home all day. I'm gonna scoot y'all down a little bit so I can get closer to my section. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of off of the routine right now. So I didn't take very good notes. I just kind of bullet pointed, bullet pointed, bullet pointed a few points of, you know, things to talk about, but I normally would take like really detailed notes of like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I didn't do that this time. But something I forgot to talk about during my last whip and chat, because there was a lot of stuff to catch up on. You know, there was Hawaii, you know, I was telling y'all about the vacation we went on, but um, I totally forgot to tell you about the birds. I did not give you a bird update. If y'all have been, um, you know, if, you have, if you're new and you haven't been following the channel, I'll give y'all a quick little update um, on what, what happened. So we had a nest out in our backyard um, above one of the windows, right above the barbecue grill. And which, by the way, in one of my whip and chats, I told y'all I almost tried to cook the birds because I was trying, I turned the grill on. And my husband ran out there, what are you doing? And we turned the fan on and turned the grill off and it was a bunch of drama. 
So we, okay, so when we left for Hawaii, the uh, Rachel had Bert, had babies. She had, what was it four? They kept, they kind of kept popping. I think it was four. And they, when we left for Hawaii, they had opened up their eyes. Like they had just opened up their eyes. And my mother-in-law stayed here and watched the house for us while we were gone. She watched the dogs and the bunny and the hamster and took care of the house. And so while we were gone, you know, I told her of course all about the birds and you know, give me updates and watch them. And you know, hopefully nobody falls out of the nest. So while we were gone, she sends me a video and the birds are doing great. You know, Rachel's still coming and feeding them. And cause I had a fear of like her, you know, being scared maybe of us and not coming back and ignoring the babies, but she never did. And the dad would come and feed them. So um, we come back and y'all, I was super excited to see how big they'd gotten and kind of what was going on with the birds. Guess what? Gone. Bye bye birdie. Birdies were gone. I can't believe. And my mother-in-law had said that last, she, the last time she saw them was like the day before, like two days before we got home. And y'all were only gone a week. And when I left, they were tiny. They had just opened up their eyes. I still can't believe that they, they learned how to fly and left within that time frame. So um, the other day, uh, Nate had my middle guy, my 15 year old son, he had um, a couple of friends come over and you know, school just got out and then we, we went to Hawaii and we've only been home a week since then. So we haven't really like, I haven't really cleaned up the backyard and got it all ready for you know, pool time. Well, he had a couple friends over and they were out there and I was gonna make some hamburgers. So I turned on the grill and it was disgusting out there because the birds had pooped everywhere, you know, right above the grill. And it just was, there was twigs and sticks. And, and again, you know, no one's using the nest anymore. So um, I was able to cook out there. And then I told myself tomorrow, I'm going to hose off this patio, get the nest down, get this place, you know, cleaned up. Cause it just looks so bad. So the next day I, um, Lou and I, got the nest. So I got a broom, a broom with like a really long, um, I don't know how you describe it. It's like, it's like a big broom, you know, it's long, the, the broom part. So, um, it's not like a, like a house broom. It's like a really long one, like for outdoors, I guess. So I found that in the garage and I, it's like one of the long ones. The head was really long on it. So I got on top of the grill next to it. We have like a little Island next to it. And I kind of started like, you know, scooping it to the edge and I was able to balance. I can't believe I did it because we didn't want to drop it. We didn't know what was inside of it. And we were so scared. Lou and I were like, oh my gosh, I hope there's nothing in there. I hope there's, you know, I didn't know what we were going to find because we never were able, it was up too high. And plus we didn't want to scare anybody, but we never were able to look inside there. We were so curious. And I will tell y'all, I was impressed with the structure of this thing. It was hard. It did not fall apart. It was really cool to see. So I balanced it on the broom and I was able to bring it all the way down and get off the, the grill and steady it and keep it. And I put it on the, the patio table without it dropping. And Lou, I told Lou, I'm like, look, 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 you look first as I was bringing it down closer to the ground. And she was looking, we were both kind of scared to look and she's kind of peeking in there and she's like, oh, there's nothing in there. I'm like, oh, thank God. Okay, I didn't know if we were gonna find something dead. I didn't know, uh, but nobody was in there. The only thing that was in there was a little bit of straw. So y'all, the birds left the nest. So we'll see if Rachel comes back next year. I'm not sure if I really want a bird nest again because boy, did they make a mess. It was pretty bad. And it took me a while to scrub everything down and hose off the patio. And then we also have a little refrigerator out there. And when Nate had his friends over, there were no drinks in there. I just really hadn't like, if you were like op opened up the pool for like summer. Just really, you know, we weren't really using it yet. Um, Lou uses it the most. And for those of you that are new, Lou is my nine-year-old daughter. So, you know, she's the one that's like a little fish. You know, kids, you know, younger kids, my boys are teenagers and they're always, you know, too busy on their computers or out with friends or... So that's the bird update. And after I got off my last whip and chat, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even update them on the birds. Cause y'all, it was the first thing I looked at when we came home from Hawaii. I was like, where's the birds? How are they doing? How big have they gotten? And I still, every day since then, we've been home for a week now, I still look up, every time I go out in the backyard, I look up and see if anything's there. I don't know why, because I would, I was like, that's all I would focus on when I'd go outside. You know, I was always so curious about it. It was really fun to watch. But again, they did make a mess. So yeah, that's the birds. Did y'all hear that snap? That little pop, hope it doesn't bother y'all. 
Um, let's see, what else has happened? Um, I had a dentist appointment. And if y'all heard some of my other whipping chats, um, I thought I had a rotten tooth. Remember that? Um, I had a seed stuck in my tooth and I had my husband and Lou trying to see if they could see it because I couldn't get it out. It was after Mother's Day because we went out to brunch. That's what it was. And I got a seed stuck from like a strawberry. And they were both looking at my mouth and they're like, you've got a black tooth. And I was like, what? And I, I was so freaked out. I was like, oh my, so I made a dentist appointment the very next morning. Come to find out it wasn't a rotten tooth. It was a uh, silver filling, just a dark filling. So they wanted me to come back in and they wanted to change that out. And then the tooth where the seed got stuck, they wanted to fill that up a little bit and fill it in and do a little filling. So I went in and the bad thing is they, um, it was on both sides of my mouth. So they numbed my mouth and it was the weirdest thing. After I got out of there, I was driving home and it was so weird. It wasn't just my cheek. It went all the way up to my eye. It was like numb. It was really strange. So they uh, put a little bit of numbing gel on there and then they put a, you know, a needle in there. Oh, it was just, but I don't love dental work. I don't know who does. My husband said he can actually fall asleep like while they're doing work on his teeth. I'm like, what? I, aren't, don't you have to like pay attention to like, you know, when they put the tube in your mouth to swallow, I mean, you can't just fall asleep. He's like, oh yeah, I've had dentists before be like, are you okay, sir? Because he falls asleep. He had like a root canal done and he fell asleep during it. I was like, oh, I wish I could. But at least at the dentist office that we go to, um, they have a screen in front of you when you're sitting in the chair. And then whenever they kick you back to lay down, that same, whatever you were watching is on the ceiling. So it's really cool. You kind of just, you know, veg out. And, you know, so I got that out of the way. My teeth are really, really sensitive still. So I'm kind of watching it because she told me if, you know, if anything feels weird or if, you know, sensitivity to anything to call her. And it's, there's one that's still bothering me on one side. So it's the one where I thought it was the black tooth. That one's kind of hurting whenever I bite down. So I don't want to go back, but I might have to, y'all. This is one of the appointments I'd, I'd put off, you know. This and the, gyneco the gynecologist are the two appointments I'd put off. So at least the teeth weren't too bad. I was expecting the worst. Like I said, like a rotten tooth. Um, so what else? Let's see. So we went, let's see, on Saturday night, last Saturday, it was Randy's birthday. And if y'all know, don't know who that is, it's a, you can call me butter and she does have a YouTube channel on here. So definitely go check her out, but it's, you can call me butter. And she, we have gotten really close. She's my, she's my bestie y'all. I think a lot of y'all know that by now. And we live really close to each other. We met on, you know, through the diamond painting community which is awesome. I remember we were just in a live together one day and we just kind of were talking about where we lived and some, she's like, you know, I said, I live in Texas. She's like me too. And we ended up finding out that we lived, you know, 15, 20 minutes away from each other and she's just amazing. So we went out to dinner with her and her husband. So it was a little double date. Her birthday was on Saturday. So it was a great day to celebrate. We went to a really nice sushi restaurant. It's her favorite restaurant. And we went to the same exact restaurant for her 50th. So yes, so last year. So it's like an annual thing. And it's so sad, but we talked about after that night, you know, after her, the first time I met her husband, we're like, yeah, we need to do this again. We need to get together. Y'all, it had been a year. I had not seen her husband in a year. I was like, we gotta, you know, we gotta get together, not just on Randy's birthday. So we met him there and we had reservations at seven. We got there and they got there first. And Randy was so sweet. She, um, she ordered some appetizers for us. We were sending our orders in. My husband's like, tell her that I want this. And I'm like, oh yeah, can you order a glass of wine for me? <laughs> so when we got there, um, they delivered, they had some sushi ready for us. The, my wine just got delivered. It was really nice. So yeah, we had a great time. We just were catching up and, you know, I hadn't seen Randy since, you know, I'd been gone on vacation for a week and I didn't really talk to her much. I kind of was just, you know, laying low when we were out there and yeah, so we were able to catch up. And I got her a uh, pair of earrings. Um, I don't think she's going to do like an unboxing or anything. So it's not diamond painting. I decided not to get her anything diamond painting related because she, you know, she's got so much stuff. Uh, Lou and I went to Kendra Scott and it's really nice jewelry store and they have some really cute stuff and she loves rose gold and she also um, loves really big earrings. So Lou and I walked in Kendra Scott and we were looking around and Lou spotted them first. But I told Lou, I'm like, I don't want anything that's heavy. I want them to be big, but light. 
So Lou's like, these are cute. And y'all, they're so cute. They're really big hoops. And like I said, they're rose gold, but they're not solid. It's almost like a filigree. So they're kind of like, they're, you know, they're round, but it's like, you know, empty in the center. So really, really pretty. They're very light. So she said she liked them. So she opened that up. And then what else did I get her? Oh, I was going to show y'all, but now she has it. Um, but Lou and I were out shopping that day. And after we left Kendra Scott, there was this little, um, this store called Urban Outfitters. And they, I figured they'd have some fun cards and they have some cool stuff in there. It's kind of for the younger crowd, but I'm like, let's, Lou will get a kick out of going in there. It's actually where Ryan likes to shop, my 17 year old. When he found out we were there, he's like, you went there without me? I was like, yeah, you, you've got a job now. You drive, you can buy your own stuff. So we went in there and we were looking around and I was looking for a card and I found a really cute card. It said, you know, to my Nomi. And I had a cute little gnome, a couple gnomes on there. And um, you opened it up and it was one of those pop-up cards. It was like almost like 3D. So I got her that. And then they had a, a section with books and stuff. So I went over there, I was looking at the books. I found the book and I was like, what's this? And it says, butts on things. I opened it up and I died laughing. And Lou was looking at me like, what is going on? My nine-year-old didn't even think it was as, as funny as I did. But y'all, it was, it was like cartoon drawings of everything with a butt and they were cute little butts and it was like a coffee cup with a butt an avocado you name it cinnamon rolls everything with a little butt even an apple computer it was just the cutest cutest book and like i said i died laughing in the store so i was like okay if i'm getting a kick out of this i gotta give it i gotta get it for randy so i got her the butt butts on things book just this little you know fun thing to put in there and what else oh and after dinner um so randy is gluten-free and so um, they brought this also to dinner last year, but um, there's a store called, uh, a bakery called Nothing Nothing Bunt Cakes, and they have bunt cakes, little bunts, and they have, um, they have buntinis and like big cakes, but you can get a gluten-free one. And it was so good. Um, they brought it with them, and then um, they brought, and they kept it, you know, they kept brought it out for us, and we totally forgot to sing happy birthday. But this place was really, really busy. It was super crowded. And it was one of those places that had the tables like butted up to each other so close that when we got there, I couldn't even hug Randy because she was in the booth side and it was so close to the other table next to us. Actually, I squeezed in there a little bit to give her a little hug and my purse, my husband's like, your purse is about to hit that person's drink. I mean, that's how close the tables were. It's kind of weird because you can, it was loud in there though. So you're not really hearing anyone's conversations, but I guess you could. Um, and actually the guy next to my husband said something up to us at one point during the dinner. I think it was about the cake, but yeah, it was so good. It was gluten-free. You would never know it. It had all this frosting on top. It was really good. And it was like chocolate chip, I think. It was delish, y'all. So we had a really good sushi dinner, lots of great sushi. I was so full, um, but I wasn't able to eat as much as I wanted to because my teeth were hurting because I just had the dental work done like a day or two before that. So I was like, oh, this is gonna suck, you know, trying to eat sushi. Because sushi is, yes, it's kind of soft, but with the rice and everything, mm, yeah, it can be a little tough. So yeah, that was really, really fun. Um, so the next day, um, Lou and her best friend were over here playing. And out of the blue, they come up to me and they're like, mom, um, can you take us to a thrift store? Say what? A what a thrift store I said I don't even know where a thrift store is around here and I'm like y'all find one and I'll maybe take you I'm like I'm thinking to myself hmm, it's a good way to get them out of the house and not spend a lot of money you know I'll give Lou a budget and they can just cruise around this thrift shop and you never know what you're gonna find at these and I'm like hmm, that could be fun you know L little little hunt for some treasures so sure enough they found thrift giant uh, just in the city next to us so just about like 10 minutes away and I said, okay, so we're gonna go. And it started raining. So when we got there, we had to run to the door and we got soaking wet. So we made it to Thrift Giant. And Lou's newest thing when she's with a friend is they wanna go, they wanna go shopping without me. I guess they wanna feel like big kids. She's been doing that lately at Walmart or Target. And if we have a friend, a friend with her, she's like, can we go? And they want me to leave them alone. And I'm kinda like, ugh, I'm a little nervous about it. She's, you know, only nine and I just, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of crazy people out there, y'all, right? 
So I was like, I don't know, but it's, it wasn't a very big store. And I thought, you know, it'll, I'll be right here looking at, you know, my stuff and my size and they can look at their stuff. So we go on separate, separate directions and we're, um, I'm looking at Nike shorts and y'all, I found a cute, cute pair of gray Nike shorts and Nike shorts are normally like, I mean, these are like athletic shorts. These are normally like, I don't know, 25, maybe dollar. I mean, they're those are normally really expensive. I don't care if they're used. Y'all, these were like, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to remember how much they were. 12 or maybe even less. Eight, I forget. They were, and I've been wearing them like crazy. So Thrift Giant is the way to go. I found a really cute hat, like a baseball cap. Um, and I was like leery about buying a hat because, you know, what if this person had lice or, you know, I don't know who was wearing it. But it looked almost brand new. Like it had barely been worn. So I got that and I got some shorts and I got home and I washed, you know, everything. And it worked, it turned out good. But um, so while we were there, Lou has her phone. Okay, I made sure she had her phone with her. That way in case, you know, she needed to call me and, you know, in the store she could. And she called me once and she told me they were over in this section looking and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna meet y'all over there pretty soon, I'm almost done. So I'm walking through the store looking for them and I did not have a shopping cart, but Lou did. I guess they were planning on getting a bunch of stuff. So what their plan was is they were gonna find, find an outfit for each other. Like they were gonna go off separately and surprise one another, but they ended up staying together the whole time, which I'm glad. I didn't want them to be separated. So they, I, I you know, looking and I'm looking for them. And all of a sudden I see a cart down the way coming around the corner really, really fast, like too fast. And I thought that better not be Lou with that cart. Sure enough, y'all, it was her. And she is running towards me with the cart and her best friend is behind her and she's walking very fast. And I'm like, okay, I guess they're excited about something and you know, they wanna show me, but I was gonna get on to Lou about, you know, cruising a little too fast with a cart. She runs up to me and says, mom, mom. And she, her face was white as a ghost. Mom, mom, there's a little boy chasing us with an ax. I was like, what? When she said that, I was like, okay, first of all, she's probably being dramatic. Third of all, it's probably like a toy ax, like a little boy, you know, like a toy. So I look behind her and sure enough, y'all, there's this little boy who's probably, if I were to guess, maybe about like six, I guess. So younger than them, but I, he's holding something in his hands and he's holding it up like upright and he's coming towards us because he, he probably doesn't know that, you know, I'm the mom and he's walking towards us and he's holding it like this. And I'm I look at it and I look at it and it looks like a little play sword. It looks like a little plastic sword. And I was gonna get on to Lou and be like, come on. But the closer he got y'all, it was not a sword or an ax. It was, <laughs> he must have gotten it from the kitchen area, the kitchen department. It was one of those uh, carving knives for like turkeys. And it's got like the little serrated blades that you stick in there. It was one of those blades. It, it was sharp. You know, not, I don't know. It, it was sharp still, either way. And she was terrified absolutely terrified. So as it gets closer, I'm starting to realize what this is. And I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. No wonder she's scared. And he comes up and he stops. And I said, hey buddy, because I, I was in shock myself. I couldn't believe this little boy was carrying around. A sh I mean, where's the mother? Why is this little boy carrying around a sharp knife? And why is he chasing my kid? You know? So he walks up and I said, hey buddy, um, I said, that's, that's really sharp. You need to put that down. And after I start, when I said it, I noticed right next to us, there was an employee putting away clothes. So I said it loud enough to where she could hear to, to where she could get involved. And she overheard me and she said, does he have something sharp? And I said, he does. And she goes, I'll take that from him. And I said, okay, thank you. And so she goes, Hey, give that to me. And she just kind of took it out of his hands real rough. And I thought, and she looked, the, the lady looks at me, who's the employee. And she goes, these kids, they're just not supervised anymore. She was very, very frustrated. And I was like, what just happened? And right at that time, right after she took it from his hands, this older kid comes up, older than, I don't know, he's probably like maybe 13 or so. He walks up and that was the older brother. And he starts saying something to the little boy, like, come on, come on, you're not supposed to be over here. So I think, and I saw the mother like way off far on the other side of the store shopping, like totally oblivious. So I think what happened was the older brother was supposed to be keeping an eye on him and he obviously wasn't. Um, so Lou y'all was so scared. She said that he was chasing them with that 
And then he was like making stabbing motions. Oh my gosh. She was so scared that night. We talked about it for days. Um, and I kind of mess with her sometimes and I'll kind of like pretend like I'm, you know, <laughs> I shouldn't be messing with her y'all because it was scary. But I came home. I let, you know, she told my husband what happened. And I, on the way home, I said, I bet dad's going to say, oh, I wouldn't have been so nice. I would have, you know, I would have been a little bit sterner on him. And, you know, because y'all, I'm just, that's not me. I'm, and everything was fine. No one got hurt. So I, I didn't want to make it a big deal. I, maybe I should have. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. There's no handbook. I just reacted, you know. And he's not my kid, so I didn't really feel like I could discipline him. And the mother wasn't even around. And like I said, the brother had come up right when it happened. So I just kind of let it go because it was being handled. But I told, you know, she came home and I wanted her to tell the story because the way she tells it was so funny. I wish she could tell you all instead of me. But she was like, this, he was, he was going to cut us. And, you know, so she was telling my husband. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. If that would have been me. And we all started laughing. I'm like, see, Lou, I told you. I said, if that would have been dad, it would have been a different story. Dad, would have, he goes, oh, I would have told him to, you know, he, he shouldn't be doing that. And where's your mother? And he would have gone off, y'all. <laughs> he would have gone off. <laughs> and I thought he was going to kind of be, you know, disappointed with me and letting them go off. But he knows, you know, they're going through that phase where they kind of want to be big kids. So he, it wasn't that. He just was like, oh, I would have like said something to the mother. And I'm like, ah, I know. It just kind of happened all so fast. But yeah, that happened. So the thrift giant, I don't know if we'll ever go back there again, but it's a dangerous place, y'all. Oh, and something else happened while we were there to top it off. So her best friend just got a phone recently and they're young, right? They're nine. They're not really used to having phones yet. And they're not good about, you know, keeping track of them, which is why Lou really doesn't have hers very often. But uh, her best friend brings her phone with her everywhere now. So... She had her phone in the store because they were going to be calling each other to find out, you know, where each other was at because they were going to separate. So her friend, I don't know, maybe it was during all the drama with the little boy, but all of a sudden after the little boy walks away, she looks at us and she goes, oh my gosh, I don't have my phone. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my God. How am I going to explain all this to her mother? You know, not even my kid. She almost got hurt. She almost got stabbed. And then now she lost her phone. I'm like, great, great. I'm like, these girls are going to keep me on my toes this summer. This is her best friend and she lives one door down. So I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, we frantically start backtracking and going back the way we came, trying to figure out where she could have left it. And y'all, this is a thrift store and there is stuff everywhere, little knickknacks. And I'm like, and they had been all over the store. We'd been there for about like an hour because they were having a great time. <sighs> so I said, you know, let's look, let's look. I'm like, how about we call it? And Lou's like, I'll call it from my phone. I'm like, okay, call her number. Cause I didn't have her number on me. So Lou calls, Lou calls and they're like, mom, we're going to go look. I'm like, okay, y'all go this way and I'll go that way. So we were looking, looking, looking and Lou, they come back and they're holding her phone. And I said, how did you find that? Well, what had happened was, um, someone had found it and thank God there are nice people in this world. Y'all honest people, because not only did she lose her, she did, she lose her phone, her money or a gift card that she had that she was going to use, um, it was like a Visa gift card was in the back of her phone case and you could see it. So it was a phone, a brand new phone and a, a gift card on the back. So someone could have hit the jackpot, you know? Uh, but no, someone returned it up to the front. And whenever Lou called, a lady answered and she's like, and they were talking and then Lou looks up and she sees the girl talking. Cause she, she, you know, she's like, I work here. I'm in the front. And Lou's like, Oh, I see you. So they, Oh, thank God y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this this summer. This is a lot. I'm used to just, you know, hanging out in my, my craft room and diamond painting during the day. And I'm like, is this, is this a little, you know, is this how it's going to be? Oh, y'all, I'm going to take a little sip. So I don't know if we'll, ever go, if we'll ever go back to Thrift Giant, but we do have a little pack that we made on the way home that we weren't going to tell her mom. And I don't think her mom watches my videos. I hope, I hope not. Sorry, Kate, if she does, but um, yeah. Um, yeah. So we decided not to tell our mom. I'm like, you found your phone. It's all good. We don't need to talk. She goes, oh, she would, she'd be so mad. I'm like, I know. I'm like, it's, it's all good. We, we, we found it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm surprised her mom never called me or said anything about the little boy. Cause I'm sure she told her. Oh, they couldn't wait to get in the car and like call their friends. And we're like, we almost died. I'm like, y'all, no, no, no. Come on now. So yep. 
good old thrift giant. So that was, that was an, an ex a day y'all. It was a, so then I took them to Panda Express after that because they were like, we're hungry. That, that wore us out being in there. And I'm like, yeah, me too y'all. But I got a hat, yay. And I got some Nike shorts, yay. So it wasn't all for nothing, but golly. So I looked at Lou and I said, you're not gonna go off anymore on your own, are you? And she's like, mm, I don't know. Just not at that store. I'm like, oh my gosh, that could happen at any store. So I was kind of hoping it was going to scare her a little bit, not wanting to do this, you know, I'm a big kid thing, but I don't know, y'all. It was very, very interesting. It was quite a day. Um, yeah. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh my gosh, Lou. <laughs> so Lou and I were talking about Randy and we were talking about her makeup one night. We were laying in bed and I was like, yeah, let's look at her website. So we we're looking at her website and I said, yeah, you know, Randy said she would, you know, give me a makeup lesson. And she goes, oh, I want one too. Cause she's all about makeup. And she goes, but it's actually a tutorial. And I go, oh, well yeah, a tutorial. And she goes, no, a tutorial. I go, a what? She goes, why do you say tutorial? And I'm like, mm, that's how you say it. And she's like, nah, -uh. <laughs> so she says it, she doesn't say the second T. So, and I know when you say it fast. So she probably heard it on, you know, TikTok or YouTube or something, Tutor tutorial, tu tutorial. Tutorial is how she says it. We went back and forth and she did not believe me. And I said, do I need to pull up a video saying that word? She's like, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I thought she was over kind of like, you know, not being able to say words because she knows she's getting older. But um, there's a word, actually I will tell y'all, there's a word that I can't say. And I can't believe I'm even trying, I'm even bringing this up. Um, there's just certain words I can't say. And yeah, I'm not even gonna try to say it, but I don't know if y'all, let me know down below if y'all have a word, you can just type it out obviously, that you have a hard time pronouncing and it gets kind of stuck. Cause I'm not even gonna try to say the word cause y'all make fun of me, but maybe I'll tell you one day. Yeah, there's, uh, there's words, there's words y'all. Words are hard sometimes. So we've been kind of playing a game with, you know, giving her a hard time. She also says, instead of saying thermometer, with an M, thermometer, she says thermometer. And I'm like, no, it's not thermometer, it's thermometer. <laughs> and she gets so mad when we laugh at her. She's pretty good about, you know, joking around and her and my husband especially get, get after each other. But sometimes with me, she's not, I don't know, her feelings get hurt and, cause we don't really joke around as much. I mean, I do, but her and my husband really get each other. They, you know, they talk of each other's breath and you know, they'll just go and go and go. I'm talking about how nasty it smells. And I'm like, oh, y'all are bad. And she can take it, but sometimes she doesn't take it so well. And so she gets, she was, she got mad at me. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, oh my gosh. I could not sleep the other night. Could not sleep. And I was going to ask y'all if you've ever experienced this. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I was getting like, you know, amped up and like anxious. I can't sleep. I'm not going to be able to sleep. And I tried everything, but getting up, you know, I tried different positions and what was driving me crazy the most out of this situation, not being able to sleep. Now I know part of it was because I, I slept in till almost 11. So that was part of the problem. That was part of it. And then Lou's friend was spending the night, a different friend. And she had to be, which I loved because after I said she could spend the night, I hear from the mom saying, oh, um, I'm gonna pick her up at eight o'clock in the morning. She's got art camp. I'm like, say what? That means I have to get her up and get her ready and at, at that early? So, <laughs> so I was like laying in bed going, oh my God, I need to go to bed. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Y'all, I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning. I was on my phone. I was making I to-do lists, you name it, I was doing it. I mean, I was quite productive actually. I was on Instagram. Like I said, I was, you know, all kinds of stuff checking back, you know, clearing off my inbox. But what kept driving me crazy is I was laying there and I'm like, okay, I'm starting to feel tired. I'm starting to feel tired. And then all of a sudden something would itch. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so I'd have to itch my nose. I put my arms back under the covers and then my leg would itch and then my ear would itch. And then I was like, why am I so itchy? <laughs> it was like one thing or another, but the itchy stuff was driving me crazy. I was like, why do I keep itching? What What is going on here? It's like restless leg syndrome, but it's like itchy. I just kept thinking something itched. And it was just, I don't know, probably another just way of not being able to sleep. I don't know, y'all. It was so bad. So got her friend up the next morning, even though I had only gotten three hours of sleep, I was exhausted. And after her friend left, 
Um, Lou was awake, of course, which I wanted her to sleep in, but she didn't. I said, Lou, I have to go back to sleep. I'm not gonna be able to function today. So I slept for about an hour, hour and a half, but y'all, I was good. I was able to like, I went to Costco the next day. I, that's when I cleaned off the patio. Um, I, but then last night I totally crashed at like 9.30 and that's not like me. I was, I was actually sitting here editing a video and I started to, to doze off. I know some of you talked about like when you're dying in pain before, you've actually like started to fall asleep. I've never experienced that until this, until last night because I was so tired. But um, yesterday, Lou and I, no, day before yesterday, um, Lou and I went, so there's a trampoline park and it's called Urban Air. And in addition to trampolines, they also have um, rock wall, they have a zip line, they have a ropes course, they have all this cool stuff. And she has been wanting me to take her to Urban Air for like the last week. And every day that she'll ask, I'm like, today's not good, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. And so the last time I told her that, she's like, mom, you keep promising me and it's making me, I mean, she was getting mad. I'm like, you're right. I, you know, I'll, let's go tomorrow. I'm serious, there's nothing going on. No doctor's appointments, no this, no that. Cause the day she asked me, I was like, I need to do laundry, I'm doing chores, I'm getting the house cleaned. It was always something. And y'all, to be honest, I didn't want to go right? Who wants to go there? I mean, because all I normally do in the past when I've gone is there's a, some tables in the center where all the moms sit and you're there for at least two hours. It's a two hour minimum that you pay for. And you're just sitting there for two hours and kids are just screaming and running around. There's music blaring. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. And I kept telling Lou, I'm like, don't you want to bring a friend? Cause I thought if she brings a friend, then she'll be good, right? She won't, she'll leave me alone. She'll kind of just have a great time with a friend. Cause y'all, what ends up happening is, and I love that she wants to spend time with me. I mean, I really do love it. But sometimes I just tell her, I'm like, mommy's too old, you know? Like when we were in Hawaii, I kept saying, why don't you go talk to that little girl or go, go do a sand capsule with that little girl. She's like, no, I'm good. I, I want to play with you. So sometimes she can be really attached, which is awesome. But at the same time, I'm like, don't you want to go play with a friend? She's like, no, I'm fine with you. Okay, so you know, I did all the slides with her in Hawaii and did the beach and she wore me out, but it was fun. Um, so we're so finally she's like, No, I don't want to go with a friend. I'm like, she's like, I want to go tomorrow. I'm like, okay, so we get up, we plan it all out, and we go. And on the way there, I was like, So I'm just gonna be able to sit, right? And she's like, No, I wanted you to jump with me. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna hurt my back if I try to jump on trampolines. She's like, No, you'll be fine. I'm like and the more I start thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? Why not, right? Why not act, be a kid? And why not try to keep up with her for the day and really just have a good time and not sit there like the rest of the moms? Y'all, we had so much fun. It, it happens a lot. Going into something, it's almost like exercising or whenever she wants to go to the playground or the park, I'm always like, I don't wanna go. But then I end up going and we end up playing, on the, playing together and we're laughing and playing hide and go seek and I'm pushing her on the swings and we end up just, having a really good time. And that's how this was. And I was hoping it was, and it, that's exactly what happened. We, first we went through an obstacle course and I got stuck. It was like all these little balls beneath us that looked like bubbles. They were like white clear balls. And there were these ropes you had to climb on and I kept falling and I had my phone in my hand and I, that was probably a bad idea. I didn't want to leave it anywhere. So um, did that. So we did, we started off with that. And then we went over to the trampolines and we were jumping on the trampolines and she wanted me to double bounce her. So if y'all know what that is, it's like where you, you jump on the other person's trampoline, you, you jump right when the time and it makes them like fly up really far. So we were doing that and I was making her fly up or you can call it popcorn. We were doing that and she was popping all around and laughing and she would fall because you know, she would lose her balance because I made her you know go up so high. And we were jumping and looking at each other from our separate trampolines and she looks at me and she's like, mom, this is the best day ever. And I just, you know, I, I, what else can you ask for, you know? And there's gonna be a day where she's not gonna wanna play with me and want nothing to do with me. So I just have to remember that and soak all of it in. But we had fun. And after that, she's like, let's do the ropes course. I was like, okay. Now the ropes course is, it's, you know, they, they get you all cinched up and you're like on this, you know, you're above, you're like on the top of the place. And all the moms and everybody sitting down is down below you, which is kind of weird because I was walking over some tables and people were, you know, moms had made their kids lunch. I'm walking, I'm like, and moms are talking. I'm like, what if something falls off my socks? Or what if I was really bad and I like spit, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna sit down there anymore. I've decided that. 
because I didn't realize people are walking right over you and you can see everything. It's just weird. But we did all the different um, platforms. There was like, plenty, you know, you had to like walk on these boards that were far apart from each other. And you're like tethered to this, you know, this bar above you. And we had so much fun. And I looked over at one point and there was this um, older woman that was, it looked maybe like a grandmother. And I saw her um, uh, point to me and say something to, maybe it was her daughter or daughter-in-law. And they looked at me and I thought, I bet they're saying, look at that mom up there. I hope that's what they were saying. I don't know if they were talking bad about me y'all. Maybe they could see up my shorts. I don't know. Although the shorts I had on had the little built-in like lining in, in underneath. So it's not, you couldn't see anything. Plus the harness that you're wearing is all, you know, keeping your shorts all tight and up your butt almost. But after we did that, um, get this. So we were walking back down the ramp from getting off of that. And I was a little wobbly. I don't know why, because some of it was kind of hard on my feet. So, cause you have to do everything in socks. You can't wear shoes. Cause it's a trampoline place. Oh, and you have to buy their socks, which was like $3 and something. And I'm like, so it was kind of an expensive day. That's why it's kind of like a treat. You know, we save it for, you know, to do us. We don't just do it all the time. So we uh, were walking down this ramp and I tripped a little bit. Like I kind of stumbled and I twisted my ankle a little bit and it's still hurting. So I'm kind of been hobbling around. My ankle's real weak. It feels weak. Like I can't stand on my tippy toes because it starts to hurt. So I tweaked, I did something. And I told Lou, I'm like, see, I told you I'm too old to be doing this. <laughs> I should not be doing this. So we got done with that. And then I was like, let's go take a break. Let's go get a drink. So we went to the concession stand and we got a Gatorade and you know, water and we sat back down and we're just kind of watching everybody. And I'm looking at her and she's looking at me. I'm like, I'm really glad I did this. I'm like, this is really fun. So she's like, see, I told you, you never want to do something. And then once you do it, you have a really good time. I'm like, you're right. You're right. So what a fun day. Um, I just, again, got to soak all those days up, you know, cause she's almost 10. She'll be 10 in August. So I know, you know, and I've even noted, noticed it this summer, you know, she'll play with friends and, you know, won't really want to do, do anything with me for a while. So I've got more free time than I used to, the older they all get. So yeah, it's good and bad, you know? kind of lonely sometimes, but I'm all good. I just diamond paint, right? Just, just take advantage of the free time and the quiet. So speaking of quiet, I don't really get a lot of quiet now during the day because Nate and I share a wall. My craft room is right on the other side of his room. And now that he's home for the summer, he's video gaming with people and he's screaming and he's yelling and he'll curse sometimes. And I have to, you know, go and talk to him. I'm like, I really don't want to. So I almost like need to put headphones on because <laughs> he is something else. Um, what else y'all? Um, I'm sorry. I've just been like going a hundred miles a minute. Um, I didn't even have an opportunity. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this y'all. I need to write it down. I did not even ask you guys, but maybe I saved it for the end. Yeah. 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 That was my intent. <laughs> I didn't even ask you guys. How are you? Or if I did, I forgot, but please let me know down in the comments. I love reading y'all's comments. Love them. So please let me know how you're doing below and what you're up to, um, what you did. Are you diamond painting right now? What project are you working on? Also let me know if you're working on an event. Um, and like I said, I'd love to have you guys join us um, Sunday. I say us, I don't really have a guest this week. I like to have a lot of guests. I do have another guest um, that I have already talked to and she said, yes, she would love. We just haven't nailed down a date. So it's been a couple weeks since I've had a guest. So I think I'm gonna contact her after this, reach out and see if I can get her on the calendar. Um, yeah because I have one other person in mind that I wanted to invite in. Yes, so it'd be fun. Um, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think, I didn't, like I said, I didn't take very good notes this week. A lot of stuff's been going on. You know, there's been sleepovers and you know, that one night um, Nate had his friend spend the night and then that same night Lou had a friend spend the night. So we had five kids here at one time. That was the night I couldn't sleep. Um, and then that night I have a kind of a, thing that we do it's like a you know a ritual whenever we um whenever lou has someone spend the night we always um make a candy run and i'll run into like quick trip or racetrack or walmart in the walmart gas station and we'll get it we'll get some candy for everybody so we did that and they came back and they were laughing and having a good old time and they were eating candy now they were in my bedroom because my husband was watching something on the living room tv so they were in the bedroom and it's time to, you know, kind of shut it down. And it was almost midnight. And so I'm like fading. So I went in there and talked to them. 
they had crumbs and chips and candy all over my bed. I'm like, why did I let them eat in here? Uh, whatever, you know, just, it's, it's a sleepover. It's what happens. Um, the next morning, you know, they always want, you know, what we, uh, I'm trying to think what we did the next morning. Oh, her friend left early for art camp. So we didn't have to do anything. But this, ever since we've been back from Hawaii, Lou has had three or four friends spend the night. Now she went through this phase before and I told you all this um, in the past that she prefers to be here instead of at somebody else's house. But y'all, there's sometimes where I'm like, go sleep over someone else's house. So I don't have to, you know, feed them and be the, you know, I, I want a night off too. So it happens a lot. We end up having all the sleepovers here. But since she's had so like almost every friend spend, spend the night since we've been back, if she comes and asks me for another sleepover for any of those friends, and we'd like, you need to go to their house this time. We need to like share the love and we need to spread it out. So I know you don't like sleeping over, but just don't do a sleepover then. But we're not going to do them here every single time. Um, today, I heard Lou chuckling and laughing and I heard some girls' voices downstairs. So, because I was up here in the craft room and I went down there and there was three girls. And then plus Lou, there was four. Four little girls looking at me, hee <laughs> hee, laughing, giggling. I'm like hey y'all what's up i'm like there's a lot of people here they just yeah i guess one one doesn't even live in our neighborhood but i know who she is i guess she was visiting one of the girls in the neighborhood and she just came along and so they asked me if they could make snow cones because we have a snow cone machine it's actually nate's and y'all it's one of the best things we've ever bought we got it off of amazon and we use it all the time the hot dog machine and the snow cone maker. The hot dog machine is actually really fun. It just rolls the hot dogs and it's like an old timey one, kind of like the snow cone machine. So it seemed really cheesy, but they're really fun. So they asked if they could make snow cones and I'm like, oh crap, we're gonna make four people snow cones. Cause it doesn't, you know, it's little and it doesn't produce like a ton of ice at one time and it's really loud. And my husband works from home and I'm like, oh, he's not gonna like this, but we did it. And I got all the syrups out for them. We have like, I bought a pack of syrups, uh, sugar-free syrup on uh, Amazon. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming handy. Every summer we pull it out and we make snow cones. So they all ate their snow cones and then they went and played outside for a little bit. And then they were came back in the house and Lou got a um, a dentist set recently. And y'all, it's like for babies. It's like for three plus. It's like a little kid's you know play set. She is having the best time. Her and all her friends come over and they play dentist. And it keeps them busy. So it's like the best 20 bucks that I spent in a long time. So yeah. But I've had to kind of put her, you know, she wanted to go somewhere today and shot. I'm like, no, 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 we're not gonna buy anything else. Nope, you're good. You don't even, you know, you haven't even cleaned up the toys that you have now. Cause I've been on her, I'm like, you need to clean your room. You need to clean your room because we let the bunny out and the poor bunny will get lost in that room because there's so many stuffed animals and toys and Barbies. And my husband said the other day, he's like, Lou, you need to clean your room. He goes, and by the way, why do you need 30 naked Barbies? <laughs> why do you need 30? He was like, why can't you just pick 10 and you sell the other ones or, you know, get rid of them. And she's like, dad, you don't understand. So she was telling me, she's like, you know, mom. And I'm like, mm, I guess, I don't know why we need 30 Barbies, but I'm trying to remember what it was like when I played Barbies, but yeah. So her room is a disaster y'all. And so I told her, I'm like, no, you're not getting anything else because you haven't even cleaned up what you have and you've got way too much stuff already. So She's a little, she's a little, a little salty about the fact that my uh, craft room used to be her playroom. But y'all, I didn't have a playroom when I was growing up. I, I had my toys in my room. Well, everything's in her room now, and she's kind of got some American Girl doll stuff. It's kind of big, and some of her, all her Barbie stuff. And she has a Barbie dream house, and it's all in her room. Plus, she's got the the um, the bunny hutch in there, so it's crowded. But I, you, you know, this now that I have a craft room, this used to be her playroom. So sometimes when we'll ask her to clean up, she'll be like. Well, I wouldn't have to if I had a playroom, not everything would be in my room. And I was like, girl, you'd have to clean up the playroom. You can't just live like, you can't just be la 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 la, you know, and not clean up, no. So anyways, and I told her today, I'm like, you need to clean your room. I said, if you don't clean it, I said, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere and play with any friends until you clean this up. So we'll see, no one's come over yet. So, and she hasn't asked to go anywhere, but I'm gonna have to put my foot down because the room is ridiculous. Yeah, I was gonna take a picture and show y'all, but I'm like, no, I'm, I'm embarrassed to do that. But the poor bunny, he just gets lost in there. And he, he's good though. He doesn't, he only poops like in one little area by the door if he does poop. And, cause he's kind of litter box trained. So he doesn't just go all over. And then he doesn't get into much. He just kind of all go and check on him periodically throughout the day. Cause we, like he's been out all day today in her room. Poor thing. <laughs> I hope I can find him. Um, but whenever I go check on him, he's like chilling under the bed. He's all sprawled out. Cause he's a big bunny y'all. 
Um, he's sprawled out under the bed, just, just chilling. And then Daisy's in there too. Daisy's the hamster. And Daisy's got her little big cage now, her two-story cage that we got for her. So I'll tell you what, these pets are living the life. They are living the life. So yeah, they've been keeping us busy. And Lou tells me this morning, mom, I want another dog. I'm like, no. Girl, we got two dogs already, a bunny, a hamster. No, no more pets. So we're not gonna do that. No, no, no. Lou and I went swimming yesterday. It was so much fun. She, again, was like, mom, will you come swimming? I'm like, you know what? I need to hose off the patio, so I'll go there with you. And sure enough, as I was doing that, I got really hot. And I asked her if she would help me. She said yes if I go out there and swim. She never helped me. Uh, but eventually I did get in. And we got a couple of new rafts recently at Target. We got a Boston Terrier, uh, a black and white Boston Terrier raft. It's a flip, it's a round, it's a ring. And then we got like a, like a lounge chair uh, at Target. That's really cool. So we blew all that stuff up and we were playing. We were both getting in the raft, and, uh, you know, pretending it like it was a boat. And it was really fun. So we got some sun yesterday. It was nice to be outside because uh, that's one of the things my doctor had told me when they did the blood work is that I'm vitamin, T, vitamin D uh, deficient. So um, I guess, you know, that's my excuse to go outside more. It's just so hot here. You know, in Texas, it gets so hot, y'all. But at least we have a pool. So most people do around here because it just is ridiculous. The heat is crazy. And no one plays outside. The kids are like, like I said, they went out front today with their snow cones. They lasted about five minutes and they came right back in. So I thought they were going to be quiet outside, you know, give me some peace, but they didn't. All right, y'all, what time are we at? Oh, I think we're almost at an hour. It's so funny. I always can kind of feel it. I'm like, eh. I think, I've, I think I've talked their ear off enough. Um, I gotta thank y'all so much for being here. I know I asked how you're doing, but I also wanted to say thank you. Thank you for your continued support. Um, y'all mean the world to me and I love you know doing this. So thank you for being here. Thank you for you know giving me the chance to do this and have a channel and you know for y'all to listen so I can do these because it's almost like free therapy too. You know, I just get to talk it all out and it's like hanging out with a friend. That's what these are to me. So I really look forward to them every week. And I missed y'all when I was on vacation. I really did. So um, try to join me Sunday if you can. And love to have you. And what else, y'all? If there's anything else you need from me, just let me know. And I normally don't do this, but just for fun, um, you know, I wanna see who made it till the end of the video. And if you did, I'm gonna ask for an emoji. And I normally don't ask for emojis. Um, because it's summertime and it's been so hot here, give me a sun emoji. I know that's not very creative, but it's just, I don't know, it just came to me. So give me a sun, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. For any of you Barney fans, you might know that song. Boy, we went through a Barney phase. Yeah, so put a sun emoji, and that way I know that you've made it all the way to the end. And of course, I'll do my little blurb, my little spiel. If y'all have not subscribed, I would love to have you. And the more the merrier, it's, it's free. It's just, um, just click that subscribe button. It just lets me know that you like what I'm doing here. And if you do, and you wanna see more, then click that notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. And then you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And it's, they're all diamond painting related. I'll sprinkle in some fun, random things here and there. But um, yeah, and I post videos almost uh, about every other day. So if you want some diamond painting content, please join me. I would love to have you guys. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. Um, what else? So I will see y'all in the next video, okay? Take care, love you, bye.